Okay, uh, next example is on uh, hard drive, uh, hard disk, hard disk. So the plateau of a hard drive of computer rotates at 7,200 revolution per minute or RPM. Okay. A. What is the angular velocity of the plateau? B. If the reading of the height of the drive is located t centimeters from the rotation axis, what is the linear speed of the point on the plateau just below it? C. If a single bit requires 0 0.5 micrometer of length along the direction of motion, how many bits per second can the writing head write when it is 3 centimeters from the axis? Okay, A. Uh, question A is uh, you have to find angular velocity which is omega, right? Uh, omega. The given uh, <coughs> parameter is uh, 7200 RPM, right, 7200 RPM, what is this RPM, what is this, revolution per minute, okay. Uh, if we know the frequency, the frequency, the unit is uh, hertz, right? Or 1 over second, right? But in here, 7200 revolution over minute. So we have to convert the RPM into RPS. Revolution per second. Okay. So you just convert minute to second then. So it will be 7200 divided by 60, right? Because one minute is 60 seconds. So it's uh, 120 hertz. So this is the frequency. Right, and we know the relation between frequency and, and angular velocity. Uh, angular velocity omega equal to two pi f, right? Two pi f. So it's a direct two pi pi is around three point fourteen f is hundred twenty. So the answer is uh, around 756.53.6 radian per second. Okay, that is A. B. If the reading of if the reading head of the drive is located three centimeters from the other section, what is the linear speed? of the point on the plate just below it so it is asking for v b v in a we have the omega so the relation between v and omega is v equal to r times omega r is given three centimeters but be careful we have to convert into uh, international standard which is meter so 3 centimeters convert to meters is uh, 0 0.03 okay multiply with omega 753.6 so it's around uh, 22.6 meter per second okay C. If a single bit requires 0 0.5 micrometer, micrometer of length along the direction of motion, how many bits per second can the writing head write when it is 3 centimeters from the axis? Okay, uh, so a single one bit requires 0 0.5 micrometer. Okay, but the uh, <coughs> 
uh, what is it? The reading head is located three centimeters from rotation axis. So, if a uh, one byte requires zero point five micrometer, okay. So for three centimeters, how many bit? So you have to find that one first. Okay. So one bit require 0 0.5 micrometer. So for three centimeters, how many bit? Right? How many bit? Okay. So just simply divide by divide simply divide 3 cm over 0 0.5 micrometer okay but make sure you have to convert the unit into the same unit like this one for example you want to convert into micrometer all of it or centimeters or meters so let's take uh, we convert all the two into meters so 3 cm equal to uh, 300 meters, right? Eh, sorry, not 300. Uh, 3 centimeters equal to 3 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. 0 0.5 micrometer. Micro is, zero, is 10 to the power of minus 6. So 0 0.5. That means 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7. Okay. So, uh, it's around 6 times 10 to the power of 4 bit. So, with the 3 centimeters from the axis, uh, you will have 6 times 10 to the power of 4 bits okay also around 60,000 bits 60,000 bits but then the question is how many bits per second the speed okay how many bits per second uh, along the direction of motion the direction of motion is a circle right is a circle path so you just need to multiply uh, 60,000 with the angular velocity. Okay. So the bit per second is 60,000. Then 6 to the power of 6 times 10 to the power of 4. Multiply with angular velocity. Angular velocity just now we have... 753.6 so uh, use your calculator you will get around 45 mega bit per second mega bit per second Okay. Because the unit of uh, 6,000 is 60,000 is bits. The unit of uh, angular is radian per second. Okay. So you can you, you can you can uh, ignore the radian unit. So because it basically is uh, uh, frequency, right? Frequency. So it's around 45 megabits per second for C. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see in the next.